Hello and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. So today we'll be helping Johanka because apparently she's locked up um, in the Rat House for heresy. So the first thing that we are supposed to do in to get her out is to find out what happened. So let's have a chat with uh, Brother Nicodemus first. What happened to Johanka? Nothing good, I'm sorry to say. She was locked up by the Papal Inquisitor Bishop Yaroslav of Beneshov. It seems he somehow caught wind of this preaching of hers. He's accused her of spreading heresy and had her placed under arrest. Jesus Christ! What's going to happen to her? I don't know, Henry. It all depends on the Inquisitor and how he decides. The accusations brought against Johanka are very serious. Right. I'll go and see this Bishop Yaroslav of Beneshov. May God go with you. And thank you, Henry. I'm glad you're standing up for your hanker. If you need anything, do come and see me. Oh, I will. Good luck. Okay, so he should be, I think. Yeah, here. Okay, let's find this guy. <laughs> okay. So, I am Henry of Scarlet, on the garrison of the Royal Hetman, Sir Radzig Kobila. I've heard a lot about you, my son. I'm pleased to meet you. Okay. Um. Bishop Yaroslav, uh, sir, my lord, to what do I owe your interest in my humble self? I was told you survived the massacre in Scarlet's and warned the Townburg garrison. You tracked down the raiders of a stud farm in Neuhof, wasn't it? To their hideout in the woods. And then you led Sir Radzig and his armed company there and joined bravely in the skirmish and even killed their notorious leader by your own hand. And I believe you have many other deeds to your name. That's quite remarkable considering your age, is it not? I had some unsettled accounts to deal with. And I still do. Mm-hmm. You're clearly not lacking in determination. A word of caution, though. Fervor can easily lead to recklessness. Nevertheless, I assume you came on account of Johanka. Uh, yes. And tell me what's on your mind. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's How go from the top. How out about Johanka? Word came to me of what was happening here. That some young girl was claiming to speak for the Blessed Virgin. I traveled here immediately, as my duty demanded, and observed events in Sassau incognito, in order to examine the matter at first hand. I see. Why did you have her imprisoned? Because she broke the promise she made to me, and persisted in actions that bear the signs of heresy. And what will happen to Yahanka now? I must weigh the gravity of her transgressions and investigate these alleged visions of hers. I consider it very improbable that she is indeed being visited by the Blessed Virgin. Nevertheless, I cannot at this time rule it out entirely. Okay, I'm not going to comment on that. <laughs> um, that would mean she's innocent. Uh... So you think it could be true? In that case, Johanka hasn't done anything wrong. It's not that straightforward. Even if her visions were real, she was at fault for interpreting them as she saw fit and preaching to the people. So you decide just like that? But you don't even know Johanka? I certainly do not decide just like that. I'm thoroughly examining the entire matter and you would be well advised not to question my authority. I will call Johanka and the witnesses, question them, and then pronounce a verdict. And if you decide she's guilty, will you have her burned at the stake? Good gracious, no. I have no wish to see her die. As St. Augustine said, heretics should be saved, not put to death. The triumph of the church is their salvation, not their death, even if they deserve it. 
If I find her guilty of any heresy, she will be punished, but the severity of her punishment will depend on her will to repent and make amends. I see. And will there be anyone there to defend you, Hanka? Do you doubt my judgment? I would never be so bold, sir. But surely it would be only just that someone should speak for you, Hanka, about all her good deeds and so forth? Naturally, I will also question those who would speak in her defense. Since you are interceding, I expect you have someone in mind? Yes. Actually, me. As I surmised. But this matter does not directly concern you. Why should I allow you to appear before the court? Johanka is my neighbor, and I have a Christian duty to come to her aid. I can't just stand by and do nothing. I have to concur with you on that. Your concern seems sincere, so I will grant your request. Very well. You will defend Johanka. You may speak in her defense if you so wish, and you may also bring witnesses. I will question any such witnesses, and naturally I shall question Johanka too. Thank you, Monsignor. In that case, I'll need to speak to Johanka first. That won't be possible. It's forbidden by the Inquisition procedure. Until the entire matter is resolved, Johanka can speak only to me and no one else. Mm. But I have to talk to her. How can I defend her otherwise? No, you are strictly forbidden to speak with her. I have already conceded to something that is quite beyond normal practice. Bear that in mind. I would like to expedite the matter. The trial will take place in Sassau Church in three days' time at the latest. Come and let me know when you're ready to proceed. In the meantime, I will continue my investigation. Very well, Monsignor. I had better get on with it then, sir. Farewell. Before you go, you know Johanka longer than anyone else. You spent a lot of time with her, as I've discovered. Tell me, my son, truthfully, what do you think of this whole affair? Mm. About the Virgin Mary? I... I believe the Virgin does visit her. Johanka is honest. She wouldn't lie about such a thing. And the things she says sound truthful and compelling. It really does seem like a heavenly revelation. Who else could it be from? But the Virgin Mary. The origin of these so-called visions of hers must be investigated. But thank you for your candor. Is there anything else you can tell me? Johanka helped a lot of people. She worked her fingers to the bone helping Brother Nicodemus with the sick and injured. That is certainly commendable. What else can you tell me about her? Mm. She's worried about Matthias. He's from Skalitz too, and she's very fond of him. But he was wounded in a raid on Merhoyed recently, and since then he's been lying in a fever. Johanka believes that if she does what the Blessed Virgin wants of her, Matthias might be healed. Hmm. Interesting. Anything else? Well, before, in Skalitz, Johanka was sort of, well, just a simple village girl. I never imagined I'd hear her talk in the way she does now. She's completely transformed. A simple village girl. I see. Do continue. Johanka is an honest girl and virtuous. She's a good Christian who attends church and thinks of others. Good. Please continue. Okay, we're not going to mention the affair, and uh, doesn't treat everyone do the same. That's so about that's all I can tell you. Is that really everything? Yep. For you, it I is. I have nothing more to add, Monsignor. Very well. Thank you, my son. One more thing before you go. Let me remind you that it's your Christian duty to report anything suspicious going on concerning the Church and the true faith. If you're aware of anything of the sword in these parts... If you prove yourself a commendable servant of the church, I would also take that into account in judging Johanka's case. All right, Monsignor. I'll bear that in mind. I'll be with you. Okay. So first we're going to go to Brother Nicodemus very quick, and then we're going to go back to um, 
to the guy with the in the red hat. Um, Brother Nicodemus, you've heard something? The Inquisitor has decided that Yahanka will be tried, but he's agreed that I can defend her. That's really quite unusual. It must mean he hasn't come to a clear conclusion yet. Yes. I'll get her out of it. I'm afraid it may not be that easy. The thing is, I expect Johanka will say the same things before the court that she's been preaching. What are you saying? Well, I've been thinking about what she's been saying, and it seems to me her preaching has a certain progression. Are you acquainted with the notion of the three orders of man? Not really, no. It's like this. It's said that everyone has their God-given place and purpose on Earth. Laboratores, Oratores, and Bellatores. Those who work, those who pray, and those who fight. The common folk are born to work, to reap the fruits of the Earth, and to obey the laws of God and man. It is the purpose of the nobles to protect the people and the Church against all dangers, and to maintain peace and justice on earth. And the church, in turn, has the task of caring for the spiritual welfare of all, ensuring the salvation of their souls, and bringing solace to the people in times of hardship, so that they can endure their earthly trials and enter the kingdom of heaven. But what's all that got to do with Yahanka? Well, I noticed in her first sermon she primarily addressed the concerns of the common folk, and in the second, she criticised the nobility. Mm, yeah, let's I go with this. So, but I still don't get it. In short, I'm afraid that now she might start talking about the church if she gets the chance. And if she's as critical as she was about the lords, I dread to think how that might end up. Henry, you must warn her against that. She must show humility before the Inquisitor. And the wisest course would be to admit to being wrong. She's rather stubborn, but perhaps she'll listen to you. But the Inquisitor said no one's allowed to see her. No one except the Inquisitor's own men. You'll just have to think something up. I'm afraid your hanker's fate is mainly in your hands now. I'm relying on you. No problem, we can deal with this. Mm. And Witnesses yeah, let's go for it. For this. Trial. So I want him to, to testify. You, you give a testimony. Maybe some learned speech in her defense? I'd be glad to do it. Your hanker deserves my help. Such testimonies could carry a lot of weight. You should try and get as many as you can. Okay, let's see. Um... What actually happened here? Your hanker told me you went to Ujits? Yeah. What's that got to do with anything? The Inquisitor showed up here not long after you left. Apparently he heard about your hanker's preaching somehow. He even observed one of her sermons outside the town in disguise. He had her brought to him and spent a long time trying to discourage her from what she was doing. But then she went out again to preach about her visions outside of town. But before she even started, the Inquisitor turned up with Fabian and the guards. He said Johanka had ignored his outright ban and he had her taken away. Then he warned the people there that Johanka was spreading heresy and undermining the church's authority, and forbade them to listen to her. That's all? Didn't you speak to the Inquisitor? Ah, oh, no, actually I didn't. He saw me there listening to her preaching, and I, uh, I was afraid to come forward and talk to him. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that's understandable. Thanks. It sounds pretty serious. It is. I'm afraid it could be very serious indeed. What exactly does an Inquisitor do? The Inquisition is a papal institution that deals with heresy. So people don't succumb to charlatans, false prophets and deceptions, and put their faith and their immortal souls in jeopardy. The Inquisitors have all sorts of powers, the kind we here can do very little to stand up to. And what can he do to Yohanka? I'm not entirely sure. These legal issues are very complicated, but he could certainly excommunicate her, and maybe even sentence her to death. Who is this Bishop Yaroslav? I've never heard of him before, but the prior has. 
He said he's very well learned and the Bishop of Sarepta. Sarepta? Where's that? Moravia? No, it's far, far away, near the Holy Land. He got the title from the Holy Father himself. And this bishop came all the way here from Sar... whatever? Sarepta. But I doubt he's ever been there. It used to be a bishopric in the days of the Apostolic Fathers in Phoenicia, near Israel. But it was ransacked by the Muslims. Now it's just a titular bishopric. And Yaroslav is the titular bishop. Titular bishop? Like he's not a real one? It's, let's say, an honorary title. It refers to a diocese that no longer exists. And since a titular bishop has no diocese to oversee, he can devote himself to handling other very important church affairs, like ordaining other prelates, for example, to maintain succession through the centuries down from the time of Christ and his apostles. Do you believe Yahanka is really being visited by the Virgin Mary? Well, yes, Henry, I do. The things she says and the way she speaks. She doesn't sound like herself at all. I know she can't read, so where else could she have got it? Frankly, I can't think of any other explanation within the bounds of this world. See you later. Okay, so now we're going to go back to um, Bishop Yaroslav. And uh, we're going to tell him about things that are going on over here. I will save beforehand because I, I don't think it will have a um, bad impact on the quest. Mm, however, it's better to save than to be saved than sorry, yeah. Monsignor, I've heard of various irregularities in the province that might be of interest to you. Very good, my son. Good Christians certainly shouldn't conceal such things. Please, speak. Well, the parish priest in Ujits is rather uh, unorthodox. Not that he's a bad person, not at all. He takes good care of his flock, no doubt. It's just that he drinks quite a lot. In fact, he's even said mass while drunk. And um, he keeps a concubine. Hmm. That distresses me. All the more so because what you describe isn't at all unique amongst the clergy. Thank you for telling me, Henry. Matters like this certainly must be addressed. The former parish priest of Rovna, Father Simon, went missing one day. Everyone thought he'd fled from the province, but in fact he just went to the woods and became a hermit. I see. Why did he do that? Because he got some girl pregnant. The child died during birth, though, and the mother too. He took it to be retribution for his sin. So he fled far from people, because he didn't feel fit to be their pastor anymore. That's very interesting indeed. Where is this Father Simon now? I tracked him down in the woods and talked him into going back to Rovna. They needed a parish priest there, and Simon was convinced taking on the task would make amends for his sin. Interesting. Father Simon's story is certainly remarkable. Whether his actions are appropriate for a cleric is another matter, of course. Thank you for telling me about this. There were Valdensians hiding in Ujits. Really? And how did you find out about it? Sir Hanish sent me to help the vicar track them down and catch them. So, Sir Hanish had an interest in finding them? Yes. That is, he was keen to get the matter cleared up quickly and get the vicar out of his domain. Oh, I see. He's not the only secular lord to lack trust in the emissaries of the church. And how did it end up with the members of the sect? They fled. The vicar is still trying to track them down. That's unfortunate. Let's hope the vicar succeeds promptly in his mission. Some women in Ujit went to the herbalist for magic ointment. Then they went to the woods, smeared this ointment on themselves, and engaged in all sorts of incantations and spells. What? Witchcraft? God have mercy. They must be brought to justice. Who is this herbalist they visited? Old Gertrude. She lives in the woods by Ledechko. Mm. This will have to be dealt with. Thank you for telling me. Once I've finished with Johanka's case, I'll consider what's to be done about this. 
A demon's skull was found on the church building site. Hmm, yes. I heard something about it. A disturbing report. Tell me what you know about it. It was a deception, sir. Someone made it with evil intentions to frighten people. I found the skull and brought it to the local knacker. He confirmed it was a human skull with animal horns stuck on. You did the right thing, Henry, in uncovering the deception and in telling me about it. There are interesting things going on inside the monastery. In the monastery? What kind of things? The cicadas get drunk on wine and play dice in the monastery cellars at night. But how do you know about it? How does a servant of the royal hetman come by knowledge of the confidential affairs of the Brotherhood of Monks? I caught wind of it. I heard it from a novice that the brothers were sending out at night to buy wine for them. I see. And what was the name of this novice? Yodok. Hmm. There is a novice of that name at the monastery. I shall have to speak to the prior about these matters. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. If you've nothing else to tell me, you may leave. That's all, Monsignor. All right, Henry. Thank you. But I hope you're not keeping anything from me. God be with you. Okay. Let's check if we got the uh, achievement. Yay, we did. Okay, I think... Hmm, I think I will reload and actually just tell him maybe two things because uh, there are only two things that are required. Hmm. Should I, should I not? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna reload and just tell him a few things. So, uh, I think, so what I can see over here um, on Kingdom Come Deliverance Wiki is that we need to tell him only two things, but uh, I will tell him three. What this should do. So the first one will be the devil skull. A skull was found on the church building site. We can tell about Valdensians as well. There were Valdensians hiding in Ujits. And now let's also say about in yeah, irregularities. There are interesting things going on inside the monastery. In the monastery. What kind of things? And let's say about. Uh, election. The monks in the monastery are very concerned with the election of the new abbot. Um, I don't really care about the um, um, reputation anymore because we already got Prince Charming, which requires us to have um, more than 80 uh, reputation in all cities. However, um, when you have DLC, you can, I think, forego two of them. And um, yeah, so we basically did that, so that's fine. Um, let's see who, who else we have to talk to. Um, Sir Sebastian. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, Adela, let's find Adela. She's here. Adela, the Inquisitor is going to try Johanka in court. Oh, Lord. I hope she's acquitted. I was absolutely devastated when they took her away. I need people to speak in her defense, and I'd like to ask you to do it. I don't want to go there, really. I'm afraid of that Inquisitor, but you helped me, and so did Johanka. It's only right that I should try and help her. But what am I supposed to say there? I'm just a simple village girl. I don't know anything about these things. That doesn't matter. You just be yourself. It should be enough to talk about all the good Johanker does here, and how she helps others. I'll send for you, if you're needed. All right. Thanks a lot. Okay, that's one. Next. I need something from you, sir. I suppose you heard that Johanker was locked up by the Inquisitor, and is facing charges of heresy. I did, and it's most disturbing news. What you might not know is that he's agreed that I can defend her at the trial. You? Do you even know what to say? Sure I know. It'll turn out just fine. Trust me. But I need you to testify at the court. In Johanka's defense, of course. Naturally. You don't think I could just sit here and do nothing? Besides, the bishop has already insisted that I appear before the court. Oh. All right. 
One moment. I apologize if I was a little hasty. This whole affair has left me anxious. I appreciate that you want to defend her. However, I don't think it would have any effect. No offense, but I don't think you'll be able to achieve anything in court. I'm afraid the Inquisitor will judge as he sees fit, whatever anyone says. But I have an idea how you could help. Oh? How's that? Flee. With your Hanka, of course. Hmm. No, I don't think it's a good uh, idea. I don't think that's a good idea. I'm sure Johanka will be acquitted by the court and everything will be all right. Running would just confirm the Inquisitor's suspicions and she'd always be looking over her shoulder. I don't agree. As I said, I don't believe you can affect the outcome of the court. If Johanka flees, yes, she'll have to lie low for a while, but in time it will all blow over. You can take her anywhere, as long as it's far enough from here. A girl like that will always find her feet. She can easily hide out somewhere where she's not known. Maybe there could even be a place for her on my estate. Think about it. But whatever you decide, if Johanka comes to any harm, you'll have me to answer to. I'm don't suss me, boy. Very fond of her, and her of me, and I don't want anything to happen to her. Understand? But if everything ends well, I'll show you my gratitude. I assure you. I don't need your gratitude. Take care. I just need you to testify. Goodman Pavel, you're still here. That's a relief. I was afraid I'd miss you. Yes, yes, still here, but not for long. I had some business to deal with, but now that's out of the way and I'm getting ready to leave. What was it you wanted? You might have heard that Johanka was arrested by the Inquisitor and is facing trial. Indeed, word has reached me. Poor girl. I'd like to ask you to speak to the court in Johanka's defense. Of course, Henry. You have my word. And the word of a burger of Colleen ought to mean something. But to speak in defense of someone accused of heresy is no small matter. What do you want me to say? The same thing you told me. That it was a sacred sign that you happened to be nearby when Johanka was speaking, and so on. True. I'll tell the bishop that. You can rest assured. Thank you very much. Please wait here a few more days for the court to convene, then I'll send for you. All right. For Johanka's sake, I'll wait. Take care. Thank you very much, Power of Colin. I need your help with something. I'm sure you've heard. Johanka was locked up by the Inquisitor. Who hasn't? The whole of Sasso is talking about it. And the Inquisitor was asking around about her. I'd like to ask you to appear before the court and say something in Johanka's defense. I can't say I'm keen on going there. But Johanka helped me. And you did too. I think it's only right that someone should say something good about her. Ah, thanks, Guta. I appreciate it. I'll send for you when it's time. Take care. Okay, next is Father Fabian. Father, the Inquisitor has had Johanka thrown in jail. I know, son. He's planning a hearing. Rightly so. It's about time this whole matter was dealt with. What do you think about it, then? As I say, it's a good thing that the matter is being investigated. The things Johanka has been preaching are, to say the least, disturbing. Who knows what these dreams are that she speaks of? And her words are only putting ideas in people's heads and leading them astray. Now instead of going to church, as they should, they go to her in the false belief that they will find solace. It's creating a chasm between the people and the church and leading them away from the true teaching left to us by Christ. They're misguided and swamped in heretical ideas. But Johanka is no heretic. She's a good, kind girl who's only trying to do the right thing. I'll defend her. Suit yourself. But mind you don't get ensnared in her fallacies and leave it to the bishop to judge the matter. Of course. I can't promise anything. Master Bailiff, Inquisitor Yaroslav is going to try Johanka. I know. He was here asking questions, too. Oh? What did he want to know? Various things, like how things are here, whether people are honest, whether we observe the fest days, and so forth. And then he asked about Johanka, about what she preaches, whether people come to listen to her and that. He's been talking to a lot of other people in Sasau too. I even heard that Katra, 
the swordsmith's wife, invited him to dine with them. That's interesting. Thanks for telling me. Was he just asking questions, or does he want you to testify before the court? Yes, he did ask me to testify, and I'm none too happy about it. I see. And what are you going to say about her? It depends what I'm asked, but there's not much I can say. I don't know your hunker very well. She seems virtuous and self-sacrificing to me. She's never done anything wrong, and no one here ever had a cross word to say about her. Until recently. Maybe some gossip about her and Sir Sebastian. But I've heard similar talk about half the women folk here. Your hunker has helped a lot of people here, selflessly. Her heart is in the right place. True. But then there's that preaching of hers. Folk have been falling out. They're split according to whether they believe your hunker or not. I don't know quite what to think of it myself. But I don't want to jump to conclusions. I'll wait and see what the learned bishop has to say. Thank you for speaking openly, Master Bailiff. God be with you. Okay, we don't want to bribe him uh, because it will not be good for us. Uh, we're gonna talk to Hanka as well, but first we're gonna talk to the swordsmith, swordsmith's wife. I'm here about your Hanka. You're that fellow of hers, are you? What do you want? Uh, no, I'm just a friend of hers. Matthias is her, um, her fella. Huh. God knows how many she has. I heard you invited Bishop Yaroslav to come and dine with you. Yes, so what? Bishop Yaroslav is an esteemed visitor to Sasso, and it's only fitting he should be suitably hosted by devout burghers. Um. And what did you talk about? What we discussed with the Monsignor is none of your business. What have you got against your hunker? Nothing. The question is, what has she got against us? Tell me that. What? She turns up here and tries to tell us how to live our lives, says the Virgin Mary whispers to her in the night. Yeah, I'm sure. To a simple village wench. I'd like to know who's really putting those ideas in her head. She's just getting people all worked up. Men, especially coming around here with her nonsense. Sasso is a decent, orderly place. I'll have you know. We don't want any trouble here. All this talk about hellfire and the end of the world. God of mercy. No one is interested in what she has to say. All they want is some spectacle. She ought to have thought twice before she started. Not that she wasn't warned. What do you mean, warned? As I said, she was told. Mm. Tell me everything you know. I represent the royal hetman, so don't try and keep anything from me. If you must know, some of the fellas want to have it out with her and tell her to stop. No one wants her speeches here, but would she listen? No. The devil possessed her to bring harm to us. So it was you who sent those men? All I wanted was to protect the Sasso folk against her poisonous tongue. And I'll do just that. The Monsignor asked me to testify in court. And I'll tell everything I know there. And I'll do likewise. Farewell. Go. So at least we have a, we have a clarity of who will be doing what. Yeah. We'll be saying what, so now let's have a chat with Johanka, or at least if we can, at least see if we can have a chat with her. Hey, clear off. No one's allowed to talk to Johanka. Bishop Yaroslav's orders. I know. I was just testing you. And you passed. I'm with the bishop's entourage, and I'm here at his command. Let me in to talk to Johanka. In that case... You surely know that everyone who comes from the bishop has to show a document to prove it. Good, good. Your diligence is commendable. I don't have the document on me at present, though. I left it at the monastery. Sorry, sir. We'll have to go and get it. I can't let you in otherwise. I wouldn't want to anger the Monsignor. Of course. And you can actually read, can you? A little, sir, yes. That's why they put me here. Very wise. You're clearly the right man for the job. Very well. 
I'll be back soon with that paper. Take care. Papers can be obtained in few ways. Um, just a little bit of luck, big experience. So the first one is to uh, steal it from um, Inquis Inquisitor's room. And the other one is to pickpocket it from the Inquisitor himself. The other one is to take it from, to pickpocket it from his um, assistant. And the um, third one is to pickpocket it from this guy. Let's be quick. Now you don't need money. You're well paid. Um, bam, bam, bam. Quest item. Let's read it very quick. This will go towards our reading, our reading experience, and let's go back to the guide and show him the, show him the documents. I like this quest so far. Um, Bishop Yaroslav is not such a you know, um, straight out villain, and um, it's actually done very clever yeah. in a clever way. Like, you know, that um, there's a guard who can read that yeah. was posted, and um, yeah, I like it. Here you go. Um, I want this to too. talk about your hunker. All right. Here's the document. Oh, okay, nothing. See? Show me that. That's fine. Thank you, sir. Take care. Your hunker. Are you all right? Yes, Henry. I'm fine. I'm glad to see you. I spoke to the Inquisitor. He wants to put you on trial. I know. It's all in God's hands now. No, it's not. I mean, it is, of course. But the bishop has allowed me to defend you. You want to defend me? Thank you. Henry, that's very kind of you. But you needn't bother. Our lady won't let anything bad happen to me. I am her instrument, and I am completely in her hands. Everything that's happening is her sacred will. But I won't stand by with my arms folded. You need someone to testify for you. As I said, I will defend you. If you insist, maybe it's the will of the Virgin that you came to me. So be it then. I went to Ujits, like you asked. That's good, Henry. I hope you purged yourself of your sins. I did the pilgrimage of penance, like you said. And in the church, I begged the Virgin Mary for forgiveness. And she will bless you, Henry. You're a good man. Remember that. And don't stray into wrongdoing again. I won't. Well, this is too late. I made a donation to the church, too. And the parish priest there, Father Godwin, he was asking about you. Was he? Well, what did you tell him? Oh, just about everything that's going on and the things you were saying. He was quite moved by it, to tell the truth. He even gave me some writings. You see? Maybe Our Lady is giving you a sign, too. Mm. What did Bishop Yaroslav ask you about? All sorts of things. Like how the Virgin Mary visits me, what she shows me, and about preaching to the people. Actually, he was really quite pleasant. He asked me about scallets, whether I go to church, and a lot of other things. And in the end, he told me I mustn't speak in public again about the visitations and that. But I couldn't obey an order like that. The Blessed Virgin is testing me, and I have to do what she asks, no matter who or what stands in the way. I'd say he wasn't too happy about that. No. He came there with his men, dispersed the people, and had me arrested and locked up here. About that trial? Yes, the trial. I'll get some people who will testify for you in court. 
But Brother Nicodemus is worried you'll say things that will make the Inquisitor angry. Please don't do that. You have to talk to him respectfully, answer his questions with humility, and not say anything to annoy him. And don't say anything against the church or priests. Please. I'll say only what the Blessed Virgin wants me to say. Johanka, please. You mustn't say anything against him or the church. Be contrite. Maybe even admit you might have been wrong about some things. I don't think the Inquisitor is so bad. If you submit to him, he'll drop the charges. You too now. You're speaking exactly the same as his assistant. The two of you joined forces against me, did you? I've nothing to do with him. I didn't even know he was here. Believe me, I'm really trying to help you. You don't believe me anymore, do you? I do, Johanka. I believe you. But in court, you must speak reasonably, prudently. A lot depends on it. Maybe even your life. I appreciate your concern for me, Henry. Really, I do. But you must understand. I can't deny that the Virgin Mary visits me, or what she wants to tell us. Not now. After everything that's happened, I can't. Otherwise, she won't heal Matthias. But you have to consider yourself and what's good for you. Surely you don't want to be convicted of heresy. That won't do anyone any good, neither you nor Matthias. I've already told you. Everything is in the hands of the Blessed Virgin. I will accept with humility the fate she grants me. A sacra. This is going to be a right mess. Okay. Now, let's go to Brother Nicodemus and uh, let's tell him how things are. Yeah. I spoke to Johanka. And did you manage to convince her? I'm afraid not. She's stubborn. She says she answers only to the Blessed Virgin. Oh dear, Henry. That's not good at all. What about her family? Doesn't she have a relative she might listen to? No. None of them survived the raid on Scalitz. She has no one at all left in the world? Poor child. God be with you. Somebody here. Matthias? You're better. Henry? Is it you? Yes, it's me. Who else would it be? Uh, I'm glad you're here, Henry. I feel a bit better now. Uh, I'd even like to eat something. I must tell your hunger. She'll be glad. Your hunker's not here. Oh? Where is she? Uh, how to begin? Look, things got a bit complicated here. The main thing is, Johanka is in jail, awaiting trial. What? <coughs> what happened? The Virgin Mary is speaking to Johanka, and Johanka is spreading her word to the people. But there is this Inquisitor who heard about it and had her arrested. He's putting her on trial for heresy. Oh my God. How could such a thing happen? But if Our Lady is speaking to her, surely nothing can happen to her. Well, I hope not. Trouble is, your hanker is very obstinate, and she's likely to say things in court that will just make it worse for her. Listen, Matthias, I need you to go with me and talk to her. Maybe together we can convince her to see sense. I wish I could. But I'm still too weak to even get out of bed. I'm sorry, Henry. I just can't do it. You know what? Tell her I'm feeling better, and I agree with everything you tell her. Give her this dice. She'll understand. It'll almost be like I was there with you. Dice? It's complicated. Back in Scalitz, your hunker wanted me to take her dancing, but she was too shy to ask. She thought if she took my dice and then brought it back to me, I'd be grateful and ask her to dance. <laughs> Crazy, I know. But that's girls for you. But I asked her anyway. And that evening she told me everything. Girls, eh? I know what you mean. Henry, please, look out for her. And make sure nothing happens to her. I'll do my best. 
God be with you. That's gonna be it for today. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Take care and I will see you in the next one.